what? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I'm back with a gang. Jeff, Lena, and uh, Nate. And where's Chloe? I guess she just went on ahead, but it's all four of us here again on Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And we're continuing our way to the uh, to the temple. Here's Chloe that uh, we spotted at the top of the Hotel Shangri-La a couple videos ago. <clears throat> As uh, I mentioned in my previous video, uh, my Uncharted videos and actually all of my PS3 videos are going to be increased from 15 to 20 minutes in length. Uh, roughly, not exactly, because of the fact that I've increased my, uh, I found, uh, I found a way to go ahead and just increase the, uh, uh, maximum amount of time I can spend, uh, right. uploading videos. We should be safe in here. Whoa. Kind of a, whoa, whoa, Jeff, get out of my way. <laughs> kind of a weird snap to cover there. Apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, it looks like that doorway that we passed through before the river actually did denote the uh, the beginning of an area that contained a temple, and this is the temple in question that uh, we most likely uh, need to get to. I kind of remember that purple flame here being an insignia that's on our Purba dagger, so this is most likely where we need to be headed. How about that, huh? You brought us right to the doorstep. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that we ended up here? Uh, no, not exactly. God, you're an ass. Okay, just what is it you're after, anyway? See that symbol up there? It's called the Chintamani Stone. Nate? It's a massive raw sapphire. It's worth millions. So let me get this straight. You're competing with a psychopathic war criminal for a mythological gemstone? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, <laughs> Jeff. Shut up, Jeff. And it's supposedly in this temple. Uh, well, no. The stone itself isn't here. Hey, look at that. No? Uh, no, it's in Shambhala. Shambhala? Nate? Yeah, you know, Shangri-La. Can I have a word with you, darling? On second thought, perhaps we should continue this conversation inside. Good idea. Come on. Well, given the direction that the chopper was in, they've most likely zeroed in on our location, so... It looks like we're gonna have to hurry to find Shangri-La's secret in this temple. This just doesn't add up, Nate. Lazarevich can't be after the money. He doesn't need it. You're missing something. Come on. We haven't got all day. You two stay here. Right. Promise me you'll stay put. <laughs> we'll be right back. Judging from all the hardware and men he has, enough to occupy an entire Famous city. Last words. <laughs> Definitely uh, tell he's not in it for the oh. money angle. Well, that's more like it. You don't think they're a couple, do you? They're not a couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it looks like uh, for whatever reason there's some uh, there were some pickups here, so it looks like I'm pretty loaded out on my armory right now. Get a load of him. This is definitely the right temple. And this is uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the entrance here somewhere. This is the puzzle room that's featured on the title screen of the game. It's something to do with the arms. Okay. Well, <clears throat> just like before in Uncharted Drake's Fortune, you can consult Drake's journal here, and this time, instead of having notes on El Dorado, it will have notes related to the search for the Jintamani Stone. Uh, here, it just shows you the uh, orientation the hands need to be in, so uh, let's go ahead and fix those. But first, we need to find a way to get up to where we need to manipulate the hands. So there will be some platforming here. Maybe I can scale this. Perfect, and then I can climb up this rod. Hang on, I'm gonna get a closer look at this thing. Maybe I can shimmy across. Oh. Great. I'll just wait down here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so the first one that we have here, I think, is the trident. I can't really. Okay, sort of have a a look on it. This is the trident. So let's go ahead and consult the journal. The trident. Looks like it's already in the correct position. It's pointing to the left, and it's upright. So I don't think we need to change that guy at all. Um, we'll go ahead and head up. And inspect the upper left arm of the statue. Oh, I'm exhausted just looking at you. And I'm not sure what this is called exactly. <laughs> you know, I hate to call it a rattle or a dumbbell. But I guess a dumb, it looks like a dumble. It's uh, a Dorje, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Looks like the Dorje's index finger needs to be pointed up towards the sky. 
Um, there we go. Nice work. Okay, so now we need to get to the other side of the room. And it doesn't look like we can go above the head of the statue here, so... Um, actually... I wonder if I can just shimmy all the way across the room. <laughs> Certainly looks like it, because there's this uh, these ribs all across the top portion of the walls. Okay. Oh, can I make this? Can I make it now? No? Okay, okay. <laughs> but, can I jump across? No, I can't jump up. Okay, so... Good, solid ground. Oh, monkey bar is great. Okay, all right. Uh, and we're fun. across. Thank you. I'm assuming we can go up or across. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and drop down. I guess we can just jump across. There we go. And whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think it wasn't that high of a fall. Okay, we now have access to the skulls here. Let's check the journal again. The skulls need to be... Okay, so the finger on the skulls need to be pointing exactly to the right. So let's move this down. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. Um, and then I think there's a perba up there, yeah. The perba needs to be pointing straight down. Come on. Actually, do I need to? Oh, I need to jump to this. Okay. <laughs> and then from the rod. Right. Hey, come on, admit it. You're impressed. I am. I'll throw you a banana. <laughs> Can I? Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, it oriented the wrong way. And then maybe I can just catch this on the way down, right? No, I can't. Hmm. Maybe I have to drop down to that lower ledge. There we go. Okay. Ooh. You all right? Okay. <laughs> iron rib cage. Add that to the uh, list of iron things that Nate has. All right. Well, it looks like that Jintamani stone just got split in half. What is it? Or that. It's not the real Jintamani stone. This isn't just a dagger. It's a key. Hmm. Well, let's find out what it opens. Yes, let's, shall we? Looks like there's a keyhole there. Just have to climb up to it, see what happens. <sighs> Pretty creepy, but say ah. Uh. You know, all this time, I, I actually didn't catch the fact that we were inserting the key into the mouth of the statue. I just thought he was just being cute there. The water's going down. And... I found the door it opened. Great. We've done it. Well, technically, I did it. Yeah, as you can see here from the keyhole, right there. it's surrounded by a huge mouth, but it's not the main mouth. It looks like it's a secondary mouth on the, on the torso of the statue. Anyway, let's go ahead and head down. Meet Chloe down here. What do you think? You gay? Ladies first. If you say so. <sighs> Thank God I'm not claustrophobic. <laughs> that joke's a little bit funnier if you've played Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Uh, there is a character in there uh, who is very claustrophobic. Huh. You know, it's... Actually, kind of romantic down here. And for a minute there, I thought right. these were bats. The chocolates and flowers. Guess it wouldn't make sense to have bats in here since this whole place yeah. was submerged. You never were a chocolate and flower kind of girl. Oh, you know me so well. Again, here's some cover. So you know there's going to be a shootout here later on. Um, where do we go? Maybe we just go up. Let's go up. You're not going to get us trapped in a small dark space 30 meters underground, are you? Probably. A little bit of a drop. All right, I'm coming. Okay. 
And there she goes. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. Little drop. Yeah, maybe I underestimated. We passed some more cover there with another fallen pillar. Left or right? Left or right? Left. Looks like some kind of tree. Oh, they're definitely talking about and this guy right here. What's that got to do with the Chintamani stone? You got me. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. It's opening up down here. It's kind of interesting okay. that they mentioned the tree, but Nate did not uh, draw the connection with all the resin that we've been using so far in the game to uncover secrets. And again, more cover right there. <laughs> but uh, again, another interesting thing that uh, I, I figured that that Nate would have been able to uh, to see. Whoa, 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 whoa! Trapped horse. Be worse, right? <laughs> he just gotta jinx it. Okay, well, we've gotta find the mechanism for the store and break it. Okay, what now? Thank we did it. And if you're wondering what the hell to do, it looks like the Germans were here too. See on the ground here, there is an MP40. In case uh, you know you were out of ammo from previous fights and didn't pick any up, um, <clears throat> you'd have to go ahead and pick that up and shoot these things out. Anyway, uh, the MP40, the machine pistol 40, is a uh, is a weapon that we've seen before from Uncharted Drake's Fortune. It's uh, a standard issue weapon for German infantry from World War II. So it's kind of interesting that we see a German weapon here, but no mention of the Nazis. Uh, here to four as of yet. Okay. And that must be the pit that we fell through earlier. Looks like it's gated by some spikes now. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on to the main room. This is pretty crazy right here. Oh, this must be the place. Hey, that thing looks familiar. Yeah, it looks like the Perba Dagger. If you're wondering huh. what the heck they're talking about, must activate it these are the blades right here, and obviously this is the handle. Anyway, it looks like it's light sensitive, so let's take uh, Nate's suggestion and find a way to manipulate the lights here. Yeah. Go ahead and Those drop down. Seem important. Chapter 9, Path of Light. And here we go. I'm guessing that we need to go ahead and... <clears throat> Illuminate these little figureheads you all over the place. Just have to pass the light around the room. So let's go ahead and check it out. It doesn't really do anything, as you can see. Uh, if, you know, just putting the light on the head. There is a keyhole here that we can use to put the Perba dagger in there as well. Well, it looks like that. One down, two to go. The Perba Dagger is a triple bladed weapon. What do you reckon? We're gonna have to climb that thing? And we're gonna have to go ahead and bring down I'm all three blades to, to unlock thing. something in the room. Okay, so, uh. Just as Chloe and Nate feared, we're gonna have to climb this thing. <laughs> in order to access the other parts of the room. Let's get up here and. See if we can get a better look. Okay, be careful up there. <laughs> Imagine how crazy this would be if this were like some kind of uh, gym class. <laughs> kind of makes me wonder why, uh, you know, they build these little footholds on the blade anyway. I guess just for maintenance purposes. I'd hate to be the guy who had to take care of this thing back in ancient times. Can I climb on this thing? Okay, good. Yeah, I was wondering why I was running into a dead end there. Whatever you do, don't fall. Pretty funny, Chloe. This seemed like such a good idea down there. Okay, excellent uh, camera direction again by Naughty Dog. Draws your eye to the platform that you need to jump to. And, um... Whoa! Here is another light source. 
Kind of like the bloom lighting there on Nate's face. And again, kind of handy that it just drops down there like that, but uh, <clears throat> it's a video game, so <laughs> whatever. Oh, looks like I have to shimmy over to the edge over here, on, drop down onto the walkway, and maybe we can access those steps that just uh, shot right out of the uh, out of the wall there. I wonder where they were. Oh, there they are. Looks like they're a ladder back down. Okay, well, hmm. I feel as if we might have needed to do something up here, but uh, it doesn't look like we can do anything on this particular level. Maybe it's down below? There's more reflectors up here. Chloe! Yeah? Adjust the other reflector. I'm on it. Nice work. Okay. And it looks like it's our turn to do some work over here, so let's get to this reflector. Hold on. And we're gonna have to shine it right into this lantern here. And great. Looks like it hit uh, a head that we didn't even see earlier, so let's go ahead and enter the Purba Dagger here. Most likely, another blade of the giant Purba will drop down. That did it. And it looks like that's gonna. It looks like that blade opened up a new path. It's gonna go ahead and Got it. head down here. Now that we have an avenue back to the main ground level, and unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to uh, do this all over again. But instead of using the first dagger, we're gonna use the second one. So let's see where the second one takes us. All right. One more blade to go. And we're back on the first blade, but kind of an interesting design here. As you can see, it connects to the second blade instead of going around the first one like we did originally. Crazy upper body strength again. <laughs> Definitely see Nate winning American Ninja Warrior. Okay. This time, instead of uh, heading on down that guy's face, we're going to be heading to this guy's face over here. Oh, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. Okay. Now how am I going to get that eye open? Well, now, we're going to have to use some uh, 20th century ingenuity here and use this sidearm. To crack it open. Oh jeez. <laughs> that whole sequence still gets me antsy. Okay, let's go ahead and hop up. Don't want to dangle too much, and I think we can head on over here. Oof. <laughs> A lot closer than I thought it would be. And again, there's another reflector here. We just need to adjust that other reflector. So it looks like Chloe's already on her way. Good thing she didn't shine it right in our faces. Good, that's it. Probably melt our face off. Fantastic. I did it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this last guy turned with a key, and let's see what happens. Perfect. Now all three blades of the giant purple are now facing downward. Poor guy. <laughs> Coming down. Looks like uh, plunging the dagger into whoever this giant red dude was uh, pretty much wrecked his day and uh, opened up a path down his throat. Yeah. Oh, looks like there's a platform the other way, so I don't have to go around the long way. So uh, with that, it uh, looks like our path has just been open for us. Whoa, what is crumbling now? Just gotta love the uh, ambient sound effects here. Okay, looks like Chloe's already near the face. There she is. So, the secret of Shambhala is down this guy's throat. 
I guess so. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know why she's not joining us. Looks like we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this off ahead of time uh, in the next video. Uh, hopefully with Chloe and Till. Anyway, um, until then, like, favorite, and subscribe. And, yeesh, that is a steep drop. That's much better. <laughs> like, favorite, and subscribe. Take care, and peace out. Thank <laughs> you.